All new here at five, it may soon be harder to amend Florida's constitution. A House panel advanced a bill today, upping the votes needed to approve ballot measures. That's despite concerns from opponents who are worried democracy will suffer. Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders updates us from Tallahassee. The idea to raise the voting threshold is nothing new. Lawmakers have been trying since at least 2017 without success. But this time around, there appears to be more momentum than ever. The legislators sometimes just simply don't listen to the citizenry. Trish Neely with the League of Women Voters says when that happens, Floridians often use ballot initiatives to make changes. <laughs> But HJR 61, she fears, would place approval too far out of reach. Instead of 60 percent, constitutional amendments would need 66 and two-thirds of the vote. Don't make it so hard that the citizens simply can't voice their concerns. Representative Rick Roth has pushed the idea for five years, saying... This is the thing that our founding fathers were most concerned about, was the majority overrunning the minority. The Republican also wanting to insulate against lobbyist and pack dollar influence. I think we want to make sure that the people do not put in something that they don't understand. House minority leaders see the bill as an attack. It's an idea whose time has come uh, in some people's eyes. Rep Evan Jenny thinks the GOP majority is aiming to limit progressive amendments like felon voting rights and Florida's new minimum wage, both approved under 66 percent. I think that it's very telling that now after five years is when it finally gets heard. With 11 yeas and six nays. Monday's party line approval sends the bill to its final committee, a Senate measure making progress as well. I just think that's despicable. Trish, meanwhile, hopes it's not too late to stop the policy before changing things becomes too hard. And three-fifths of the House and Senate will be needed to pass this bill. Afterwards, it goes on the ballot itself, and get this, needs only 60 percent of approval from voters in 2022. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.